Red Ted Art. It's all about bats this week. Um, just to remind you, we have some great origami bats that also work really well as corner bookmarks. They're linked in the iCards and down below. We made these last year, but it's such a lovely craft. I thought I'd show it to you again. And also you might want to check out the mouths here. We could use them on this um, bat as well, and you can play with the eyes a little bit. So I just wanted to show these to you as inspiration from last year because I thought they were really lovely. So whee, let them fly off and then to this bat. Now, obviously I'm holding it <laughs> not upright. This is a little flying bat. So it's a little bat puppet, really cute. Um, and I'm gonna show you today how to make it. <laughs> look, it's waving at us. Come on then, let's take a look and see how it's made. So you will need quite a few bits and pieces, but it's mainly card. Now I've created, as always, or not always, but increasingly, a printable for you um, to copy. But I can also talk to you about how, cre how to create your own, and I'll do that in just a minute. Um, then you'll need um, some light card and just some bits of paper for contrasting colours and eyes. These are all scraps that I use. You will also need these. These are called brads, so all split pins. Um, needle and a thread for the pulley bit, a glue stick for the embellishments, hole punch, hole punch for the little holes that you'll see, and then either a white pen or a silver pen, or you can cut out the teeth, but this is just for the mouth. So you can, again, it just depends a little bit on what you've got. Now, if you want to create your own template, the way I started this off was great at getting a tin, drawing around it and around it, and then just sort of sketching some ears. To get these sort of details, you can draw the outline of this ear and then just cut inside that outline. A circle, circles for the eyes. And again, this is just sketching, but you'll need one long thin bit at one end um, with a hole punch uh, as far as the hole punch will go and a little marker for your thread. And that's roughly talking you through how to do it. So the tracing two tins is a really good way to start yourself off add some ears and then the other details. Now, uh, I'll cut this all out and then we'll come and do the next bit. Okay, so we have all our little bits. As you can see, these fit in nicely into the ears. We've got our eyes, or oh, maybe, I don't know, maybe turn it around. I think I like this one over here better. Well, it doesn't really matter, <laughs> you know what I mean. Let's glue it all down. <laughs> So now we're ready to do the um, arms, not the arms, the wings. Make sure you make a little mark for both your hole punch and your hole, so you know where they go. And the same on that one. There we go. Use your hole punch. Don't make a hole there yet. Get your uh, baker's twine or similar. Now this is quite thick, so I've got quite a big needle. Um, might be a bit tricky, or you might need to get a little bit of help with this bit. Tie a knot. Oh, you also need two draw so you need a hole here and a hole here and then Come into this side. Now before you put the brads in, turn it around and have a look. So now when you put the brads in, don't do them too tight. You want the wing to be loose, otherwise it won't move. If you do this really tightly, it won't move. 
Now I haven't knotted this off yet as you can see, that's because we need to measure where to put it. Let's see, I think that'll be, let's just see if that works. There we go, that looks promising. Tie a knot, take the needle off now. So you want it to be the knot as close to the wings as possible. So this has to be just be loose, yeah? Not too loose, not too tight. Trim this off. Now take the other end and tie it onto the middle. Get it as central as you can. Here we go. And now let's have a look. <laughs> We'll have it upright in a minute. Yay, look at that. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? You have the cutest little Halloween bat um, puppet. Now, um, as mentioned, I think previously, we do have a cute one for Christmas, a little elf. And I haven't done a video on this before, but I, I, down below, I do have a link and in the iCards for the printable and also how to adjust the back. But if you do want a video on this, just a quick one, let me know and I can add it. In the meantime, don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, above all, keep watching and keep making. And we'll hopefully see you again soon. <laughs> Take care, bye.